achievable precise it has gone till towards 72.2 and now trading close to 72 at the same time natural gas has seen a good drop failing to break past 2.8 Eight levels. It has seen a pullback and now trading at the support levels at two point six five. So now, what to expect today? Which position you should take? Trading crude oil and natural gas. We will see with the help of charts and indicators. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon, which keeps you updated with the live market analysis. Also, you can join my free Telegram channel in order to get the live updates. The link is mentioned in the channel and video description. Let's start. First, we we'll look into U.S. crude, followed with natural gas. Do watch till the end. Now see on the early charts, oil is still staying bullish, trading in this bullish channel. Seventy-two point two is now the greater resistance area. Beyond that, we can expect seventy-three and seventy-four are the two next targets. Remember, staying above seventy-two point two, we had discussed this yesterday. I am again telling you, staying above seventy-two point two and seventy-two zone, you can expect oil to hit seventy-three and seventy-four levels. Beyond that, a good breakout can be expected. But what is happening right now? It is trading in this bullish channel, getting the resistance here. Now trying to look downwards. How you should benefit here is you can sell here at seventy-one point six levels, which is a greater resistance. Beyond that. Now see beyond seventy one point six. Remember, it is not at all bearish till towards seventy point eight levels. Once it breaks below seventy point eight, that is the time below which you can expect little bearishness. However, seventy and sixty nine are two greater supports for oil as of now. Now let's have a further detail. Look, see the prices are divergent. The moving average, the prices are divergent from the moving average. The moving averages are also divergent, and hence a little conversion cannot be denied. If you look at a stock elastic, this is comfortable, neither bullish nor bearish. The MACD on the hourly charts is looking forward to a little dip here, hence a little bearishness. RSI looking downwards. On the two hour, similar is the observation. Price is uh, divergent from the moving average. Resistance here, trading outside Bollinger Bands, looking forward to a pullback. Very good support here at seventy one point six levels. Below that. Till seventy one, till seventy point eight. Do not treat this as bearish. Below seventy point eight, and till seventy, chances of pullback will remain stronger. Below seventy only for the bearishness to prevail. A stock is sticking near to top. MACD is in green. RSI near to overbought zone. On the three hour charts, similar is the observation. Chances of pullback till towards seventy one exists or. In fact, it can try to trade a little bearish, but then also you will find it getting the support from seventy and sixty-nine levels. The stock elastic is overbought. MACD is in green. RSI near to overbought levels are also. On the four-hour chart, similar is the observation. Now see rise, retracement, rise, retracement. Now retracement and higher lows, which means till seventy-one at least, it is going to get very very strong support, and that is why I said seventy point eight is going to be the next support level. Stock has taken over, but MACD is in green, RSI flat, and on the daily charts. Now look at the daily charts. See flat bottom, still lower highs here, and hence wait for it to break past first seventy three, next seventy four, and then you can treat that oil is going to uh, be treated for a reversal, and we can see a very sharp rise beyond those levels for seventy six, seventy eight, and in fact eighty levels. Be careful here; it can give a breakout. Now, see here also higher lows are consistently seen. Higher highs are seen here. The highs for the day now at around seventy two point eight, seventy three levels. Very very good resistance support at seventy seventy one zone. Very very strong, and hence this zone becomes very important. Also, if you look at the last two candles, increasing body size indicating increasing bullishness. Higher lows here. See the slope here and here is change. This is. In, 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 indicating increasing bullishness and be careful for a drop on the downside. It has got the support till seventy levels, very strong support. Stock is sticking near to overbought. MACD divergent and bullish, looking upwards and RSI flat. Considering this for the day, I will recommend you to buy here at seventy two point two and sell at seventy one point four levels. Below seventy one point four, seventy one first target, seventy point. Or rather, I will say seventy point eight, the first target, and then below that. Now, if you are selling at seventy one point six, seventy one point seventy one point four is a good uh, level to sell, but then seventy one, seventy point eight, and then you can see this 
70 levels this is a very very strong support level and only and only if you see oil trading below 70 we can see further bearishness so take your trades accordingly now let's have a look at natural gas and before we if you want to learn this art of trading you should join my mentorship batch 23rd batch starts on 10th of july register yourself now itself reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description also you can be part of my signals group reach out to me for more details here now look at natural gas see natural gas has got the resistance here at 2.8 with that as resistance it has seen again a drop and it has come back to the next support levels at 2.65 now remember these levels we have discussed several times yet again 2.65 and 2.6 are major major supports below that only further bearishness to prevail now what has happened in net gas see the drop the retracement and again resuming the downward move however support levels at 2.65 coming into picture now if you look at the hourly charts you can see here higher lows and see this is the zone where 2.68 or 2.7 where it is going to get the maximum raise earlier this was the support zone now it is going to remain uh, remain the raise strength zone and hence above 2.7 you can buy but then 2.7475 first target and 2.8 is going to be the ultimate resistance for the natural gas movement on the downside you can see support is right now seen at 2.65 levels now see stock is seeing a rise the MACD is bearish here willing to converge crossover RSI is at bottom and on the two hour charts the phenom is similar the drop the retracement now looking forward to a drop however getting a good support here at 2.65 levels at the same time look at the moment here the drop was very very sharp the retracement is very small it means that bearishness is still there hence i will wait for a good first of all a good breakout on the upside about 2.7 is where you can confirm that there is bullishness in fact you can buy at 2.68 itself but then be careful for 2.7 2.72 zone a stock stick was oversold looking forward to a rise MACD is bearish willing to converge crossover RSI at bottom and on the 3 hour charts see higher lows flat bottom looking forward to reverse from here I will wait for 2.68 levels and then 2.7 levels to be breached for further bullishness a stock stick is definitely oversold the MACD is also bearish the RSI is also trading at bottom and coming to 4 hour charts similar observation is here probably this should be the reversal if it continues to trade on the upside at least 2.775 levels can be expected which means lower highs lower lows and possibly uh, certainly little lower levels than what it has achieved yesterday can be expected the stock stick is oversold here the MACD is also bearish RSI is trading at bottom coming to the daily charts now look at the daily charts this is we had discussed several times that the prices were divergent from the moving average it is converged here till the 20 and 100 period moving average now the next option the next candle when it starts on this chart possibly if it stays bearish we may see so uh, possibly once it draws below 2.64 you can sell here but then 2.6 2.55 are the two stronger support on the downside and uh, still we should not treat net gas is bearish it is still trading in this bullish channel which means 2.5 2.55 levels are still going to remain very very strong support a stock has stick here at bottom and MACD has crossed over for sell RSI looking downwards considering this you can buy today 2.68 and sell at 2.64 but then on the downside be careful of 2.6 and 2.55 these are two major support levels below that more bearishness is going to prevail on the upside you can buy here at 2.5 Six eight, however, two point seven seven two zone is very strong. Then two point seven five, the next resistance, and then we may see two point eight beyond two point eight. Sky is the limit on the upside. Take your trades accordingly. Trade with a stop loss. Trade with a trailing stop loss. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Join my mentorship batch. Join my signals channel. Reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead. Thank you.